everybody. So welcome to packing up things to send to friends. Two of my really, really, really good friends live in Orlando. So typically if I send them gifts for their birthdays or for Christmas or something, I have to package them up. So I'd like to tell you I've developed a really good system for this, but haven't necessarily. Like for example, I got very excited about the box that I found to package up to the gifts for Amuda. I put them in here, I got them all wrapped, they're super pretty, and they don't fit in the box that I'm shipping everything in, so now I get to ship it in a separate box. Oops. Since I've already started getting this particular one together, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off by wrapping this, and it's cookies, spoiler, Amuda. Usually I try to wrap things like this in kind of the candy way, you know, where you have like the twisty thing, and there's like a cute little paper sticking on either side. However, um, I'm gonna have to do that with a couple of the other things that I'm wrapping. So I'm gonna to try to wrap this not that way. <laughs> we'll see how this works. I've decided to use this paper for the cookies because I just like it. I'm a big fan of words and font art in general, so I think it's fun and cute. This is definitely not a wrapping house you video. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I like to make sure the bottoms are covered. They've got extra padding on them here, so I wanna make sure to wrap around that on the top and on the bottom. You can already tell that my paper is not cut evenly on the top and the bottom because I'm a professional. this means they're going to have to unwrap their presents twice because that just makes me very happy inside. One year I got my little sister a lot of little makeup things that she wanted. I put them all in one bag together, but I eat, wrapped each thing individually inside of the bag. That's the kind of thing that I do to people. I like to use extra bits of wrapping paper to make tags for the gifts because one, you're using scraps, and two, then you're making sure that all of your wrapping paper kind of corresponds together, particularly in a thing like this where I'm going to make a care package out of it. It's always fun. And then I tape it on there like this. I pull it over. See? Little tag. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's real professional looking, I know. Okay, so now it's time to put everything into the box. So it looks a little bit like that inside right now. I'm going to put some bubble wrap in there. And then I'm probably going to put this on top since that needs to go in as well. And then this will be ready to go. So now I'm just going to clean up my mess and I'm going to take this to the post office because, you know, that's where I send my mail from when possible. And I really just wanted to show you guys kind of how I went about making this work because number one, I'm a pack rat, so I knew all of that would fit in this box and it's nice to know ahead of time the kind of box that you're going to need size-wise for shipping. But mostly because it's the time of year when you should be trying to send your loved ones things if you can. Even if it's something silly like sending them a box of hot cocoa mix, which is what I did for my stepmom recently. So but I'm going to run and send this off and I will see you guys tomorrow because I'm back because finals are done being graded. Yay! So until then, 